What's up everybody and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust and Wild Honey. So for today's video as you probably already read in the thumbnail description or the title of today's video, we are going to be talking about these fear of God looking converse. Now here's the thing, this has been kind of like a trending topic in the Facebook group but nobody actually pulled the trigger and I said guys I volunteer as tribute. That can be me and decided to bite the bullet to see if we can actually make Fear of God Converse on the custom website. And the price isn't even too bad to be truthful with you. I figured, you know, 80 bucks to make a video, some content that could potentially help a lot of people out there. That definitely sounds worth it to me. And yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get today's video started. All right guys, so I'm gonna have a screen recording going at the same time I'm making these shoes just because it can be like an interactive experience. Also, if there's any way I can like put my exact design in the link uh, or in the description, like put the link in the description of this video, that will definitely be down there as well. That way you guys don't have to go through this whole process of making them look the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in fog converse. And now the reason why I have a split screen going is one's gonna be like, like the picture of the Converse, that way we can have like, I don't know, an idea like while we make the actual shoes and then we can have like, you know, obviously the screen making the shoes themselves. Now, in the Facebook group, when people were making them, they were generally doing the black ones and I feel like, you know, just because they're so easy to make, like literally they're so, you can make them exactly, I wanna say like exactly like them, um, except for the fact it won't say essentials on the heel which honestly is such a subtle touch of branding that it's like unnecessary. But um, for today's video, let's let's make it a little bit more challenging. Let's make the cream ones. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I have that pulled up right here and we're gonna use this picture as reference. And here on this other window, let's go ahead and type in Converse uh, Custom. I think that'll pull it up. And so yeah, time and time again, people are saying, oh, like I just made the Converse and, and stuff like that. And I just think it's so funny. And uh, yeah, nobody's actually purchased them to see like that they look like them in hand. 75 bucks, it looks like, it's not too, too bad. Let's make this window a little bit smaller here. If that's possible, yeah, it looks like it's doable. And then let's go ahead and edit a design. Okay, so outer body, okay, which, okay. So it looks like here on the reference picture, we have like an off white. There's a white and then an aggregate color. So, or yeah, ag aggregate. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. It looks like an like off white. Um, so we have an inner body color. So you can literally choose each like part of the shoe, which is definitely nice. Let's go with aggregate again on the outside. I think I like the black and white, like monochromatic one a little bit more. Let me know in the comment section down below which one you like more. But for me personally, I, I, I'm just gonna go with the black and white. I think it looks better. I know Jerry didn't do that, but I think it looks better for sure. Yeah, I'm gonna just gonna keep it black and white. And then text. So it looks like, I think that's it. I'm not gonna add any text. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep it blank. So yeah, nothing wrong, I guess like, I mean, I was, I guess for a second there, I was worried that um, it was gonna like decline it because it looks like a collab shoe or something, kind of like a pack or it was uh, Vans that wouldn't let you put the Fear of God print on there. But I guess, suppose uh, because there's no branding for this, that it's not a big deal, but yeah, I mean, we have the sneaker here. It looks pretty identical apart from the toe cap. I'm gonna buy some paint, like acrylic paint, some Angels paint or something like that and just paint it myself. Anyways, yeah, so I just put the order in. Uh, it's gonna take a little bit of time. I'll be, I guess, reverting back to this footage in about two or three weeks time, I suppose. And uh, we're gonna see how it turns out. What's up, everybody? So it has been now 10 days since I filmed that last little segment purchasing uh, the Converse. And shockingly enough, despite it saying it was gonna take two to three weeks, the package is now here. Um, I went ahead and like, tore the seal of tape or whatever, but I have yet to open. I'm super excited to see how these turned out. But yeah, I mean, $75 shipping was relatively fast. It's also expedited. I didn't, I don't know if I said that yet or not, but um, I did opt for expedited shipping as it was free. Um, but let's go ahead and open it up here and see how they turned out. In all honesty, I don't expect them to look too much different than any other Converse. I mean, at the end of the day, they're just black and white Converse, but 
I am excited nonetheless. I really hope we nailed the look. My main concern is that the white is gonna not be like a cream white. I don't know, I just kind of second guessed it because online, the two whites kind of look really similar, but I don't know, we'll see in just a second here. All right, so here we go. I'll go ahead and unveil it together. Um, I'll be looking at my monitor here, so I, I do see what you guys see. This is rather difficult to balance. All right, so here we go. Here are the shoes. And looking at my monitor, it looks like it's spot on. I mean, it is cream, which is exactly what I was like hoping it would look like. And uh, yeah, man, I'm actually really happy. These look great. Holy smokes. Honestly, I'm, I'm really, really happy with how these look super clean, a very clean sneaker here. Um, you know, whether it's like fog inspired or not, I just feel like this is a definitely a, a very, very nice looking sneaker. Um, but unfortunately, this is not good enough. While I do absolutely love how these look and I would wear them just like this, without messing with them and stuff, and I feel like I might just ruin these shoes by doing what I'm about to do. As I did state, I did buy some acrylic paint, a little paintbrush here, and we're gonna go all out. We're gonna, you know, completely execute uh, the fear of God Converse look. As much as I don't wanna paint these, I committed to it, and this is for the video, and hopefully it ends up looking better than how it looks now, although it's gonna be Kind of tough to do because i think they look they look really really good in all honesty so let's go ahead and start painting okay guys so i will be the first to tell you that i'm not i'm not a diy person like i've never been one to like customize sneakers and stuff i've just never been you know that artistically inclined as it pertains to this stuff i personally would rather just not do it and like I don't know, ask an expert to do it. I'm not gonna make you like sit through all this. So at some point here, I'm just gonna start a time lapse. And uh, if I do anything like specifically different, I'll go ahead and make note of it a little bit later. But yeah, let's go ahead and time lapse it now. All right guys, so I just got painting. A few tips that I do have for you guys is number one, use tape, line the tape against a canvas. I have one little spot that's gonna bother me for the entirety of eternity, but I'm so, so glad that I do have a tape on there because the paint uh, did get a little bit on the tape, which would have potentially been on the sneaker. So that's number one, definitely line with tape, definitely very helpful. Number two, start with one basic layer. You can always add more, more is less in this situation. If you do need more, you can always add it. Um, you can kind of do away with like not having streaks and stuff in the paint by kind of dabbing at it and then um, just smoothening it out afterwards with the paintbrush. Oh, and one last thing that I do suggest to do is to grab a hairdryer, uh, put it on cold, just because obviously when you like use heat to something, it makes particles more excited, uh, as you probably learned in chemistry. But um, in this situation, use cold. Um, it'll definitely help it dry a ton faster. The whole drying process and painting put together was so fast, I would say all of 10 minutes. To, to finalize this like little project here and I'm very, very happy with the results. First and foremost, let's go ahead and show you the shoes, a picture of the actual Fog Converse. So here they are. And now here are the custom Fog Converse. I really am so happy with how these turned out, guys. Um, they look, in my opinion, just like the picture. So, so good. I'll go ahead and throw them on foot as well. And again, I did, go with the black and white uh, like old school star look just because I thought the more monochromatic look was the move. But if you wanted to go like all 100% uh, fear of God converse, then you can definitely go for the red, white, and blue and stuff. But I personally think this looks better. Um, I'll go ahead and throw them on feet for you guys to see how they look. But man, I'm so happy with how these turned out.